Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers Ghost of Eden. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of the game. We have left our heroes in the middle of the Wood Folks camp and the job now is simple. We need to make ourselves valuable to the Wood Folks. So the Prove Yourself quest is upon us. And that's exactly what we're going to do after taking a bit of a rest. Right. Let's go make ourselves useful. If the we nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. That we can now find the people in need. Thankfully, I don't need to search around anymore. This house now. here, look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Because now we oh, can inside. finally open Anyone everything. home? It's empty. Someone left in a hurry. Off hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. Okay, something along here. I think we were living here, so... Three oaks, it says. Could be where our household was gone. If they have, they've forgotten their map. Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? My apologies for taking so long to write and the delay in delivering that must surely come. As ever, patience is the key. I pray as well for your efforts. <clears throat> Shop to meet great success. Better come sincerely too late, uh, but know about the affairs in New Eden. Graces there were have worsened. People have fled. I have no news for you, friend Alex Sedley. Uh, when I last saw him, he was alive and well. Now, do I know? I suppose that Alex is. He still uh, he still does not like us, and we still not, do not like him. As for me, my neighbors, well enough, what they are. As you know, they are not sympathetic people. No matter forgotten you, Eden, uh, dear Philip, uh, abandon it. Advance our ambitions elsewhere. Please accord me uh, the honor of accepting, dear sister, my most earnest love. Our prudent sake lives here. She writes well. And she also seems to be out of her mind. <laughs> I like his judgments. Good, if I'm not mistaken, this was the passage that I used to take by accident a bit earlier. That should lead us to prudence, if my theory of gaming is correct. This here is where the three oaks should be. Am I missing something? It should be over here, ish. Okay. to run too far into the wilderness. Now this here already looks like a completely different quest. World completion 3%? Are you kidding me? Okay, so maybe we need more clues. If I learn something, then it is stick with the plan. Don't be too um, smart about where you go. Just go for the main pointers and you'll be fine.
We've never been in this household so far. The forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. All right, let's see what he needs. These nails look brittle. Our houses are falling down and we need nails to build with. Deliver soonest, if you will. No shite like that, last lot. You're supposed to be good at your work, okay. Uh, an echo. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Mine, oh mine. Mine, oh mine. Mine, oh mine. I wonder if it is his or That ghost his. sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. What kind of forge has no tools? That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. Damn it! <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. The forge is empty, no tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? The forge uses a lot of water. But that doesn't explain the salt. It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? My lord. Is my fortune in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it. I hope not. Let's see what she has let's to offer. Let's trade, Mrs. Eden. All right, let's. Uh, we already own a quite healthy amount of all of uh, these things. Things that we don't own. Um, I tend to just buy a few things. Okay, those uh, are a little bit more pricey, I see.
just in case we need them a little bit later. Specifically the cheaper ones, I don't mind buying a few of uh, those. Magnetite, yeah we don't have any of that. Okay, apparently you can even get better armor. Uh, okay, maybe we're saving some cash for better armor. It's not that we need it right now, but that looks good. That looks very good. This here looks fantastic. Hitting enemy with charged uh, um, attacks restores 5% of the health. That's much better than we currently have. Okay. So I was wrong. There are. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. Okay. There definitely are a couple of items that you can get that are not just plants and material. I still don't regret buying a few of uh, the plants and materials. I have a feeling about the bed. I sense an echo somewhere nearby. A scale fogach smile. trying to make him kill his that's wife. no ghost threatening Nelly that's her husband it seemed but he was fighting the up so the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools and a saltwater ghost haunts the forge let's go find it interesting Good, where do we need to go is the question for the saltwater ghost. Look for tracks, okay, cool, we'll do exactly that. There are stains here, I can show you them. All right. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. Good. Let's reveal. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Yep, we're still on the right track. But before we get there, let's check what that house here is about. There you go. Always take all of the resources. And off we go for... Wait, 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 wait. This here looks like... 
more resources. After I have now witnessed just how good uh, new equipment can be, it would be a shame not to try to get that. What well, think you of the blacksmith and his wife? A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton, and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? Plenty of stuff here. Is it just me or? I felt it too. Something here. Oh, look at that. Couple of signs. <clears throat> Let's first of all follow the trail, but... Also... What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. There we go. Finally found it. off well that was rather quick and easy a couple of mini specters Okay, we're definitely seeing ghost activity here. I wish the game had a little bit better minimap. <clears throat> Sometimes it is frustratingly difficult to run through the environments trying to find everything. There is, by the way, a trap. difficult for me to read and we need to get to here but there's still something here and over here that seems to be a lot to explore can we get through there no hmm. maybe something that we can do a bit later with a more powered ghost I must say is the game definitely does a good job in offering you a broader range of options here it's not a Skyrim or a Witcher world but I retract my previous statement that everything is extremely linear 
That might have uh, been the case at the beginning, but it's not the case a little bit later in the game. Oh wow, even more to explore back here. <laughs> I think we've hit a nerve. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I can help. Not clever. That was fought pretty poorly. Here, Red. Have a bit of this. Can I join in too? Now we're good. This ivy is strong, really strong. You don't say. Okay. Away with you. Okay, so that was a full 360. Oh, I see. Yeah, the Ivy we can do later. The game already told us that. Which means this whole section here is off limits for now. Let me just double check. Does that mean... Hmm. Another suggestion for improvement is why can't I just put a marker down here? Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. I'm right here. Oh, come on, really? One less to worry about. Hmm. Need to heal twice. That's not great. Got to be a bit ca more careful in the type of fights that I'm picking. I feel something close. Alpha Wolf, alright. 
Ask for help if you need it. No evil without fear, but you are with me. Holy Mary, pray for me. Saint Joseph, pray for me. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. I like the knockbacks. She's oh God. good in crowd controlling these guys. Is someone there? Help! Please! I beg of you, help me! Holy Mary, pray for me, Saint Joseph, pray for me, Jesus, Mary, and reinforcements. Joseph, my last agony. Help me! Please. I'm right here. Oh wow! What a massive range. This guy had a phenomenal range. I need to learn how to block in between. I think I used to coat my. Come out! To safe! Uh, are, they, are they gone? Oh, thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here, anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why'd you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're haunted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe. No, I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. I thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am, was, Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. I'm not here for you. You have other worries. <laughs> Don't I know it. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well... That's our next case that we have on the line. We got the ghost, we got Nelly, and we got him. Nelly, coming to New Eden to save the marriage. Fortune, uh, the blacksmith's work is no better than a novice's, despite what everyone believes. Uh, the blacksmith is not a Puritan.
and we're figuring out some haunted haunted cases I like it let's grab all of the material that we can find leather is always helpful and of course the hidden stash here isn't hurting either I feel an echo ringing, like a hum. Nice, 40 cash pieces of eight. That is another 20. Let's see where the back door leads. Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Take the tools, we've a trail to follow. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flatter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. I bet you that trail will lead us to it. Mm-hmm. Let's check the map real quick. Potentially we're going to go to here. That point of interest <clears throat> haven't been here. Oh, there's so much to explore. I think that's one of uh, these larger ghost sites again. Who would have thought? Where are we? Yeah, we're right at the point of in, uh, interest. See these body parts? Good place to manifest what may linger nearby. All right, off we go. Show your shape in flesh! I'm right here, you know. Those things are aggressive. We gotta be super careful with them. They never learn, do they? Watch out! Spectre possession! Oh no, 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 not the spectre! No! Oh, not good. Move it, Red! Oh, we got a new one. Threat. Spectre, going for a meat suit. That corpse is taking aim. Move it, Red! Die, you bastard!
Okay. A little bit more difficult encounter than before. Specifically that vindicative Lars one. In left. I'm right here, you know. <clears throat> when she starts to hit, it's all good because she interrupts like it's no man's business. I says I'm walking. Standing by. Nice! All right. Plus one to all attributes. Got an elite gem, which I think we can use to upgrade. Cool. I like these little challenges. They become harder and harder every single time. And I also like how some of uh, the fights really require you to use all of your tools and not just light attack, light attack, light attack, right? So that's not bad. Well done. This is one of those games where it makes you feel insignificant when you're fighting. Because I imagine if you're playing this for a while, you'd be so much better at it. The whole combat movement seems like it has a very high skill cap. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith, he's lying. We sent him home. I hope he's no danger to Nelly. Something's concealed. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Bloody mongrel. Stay put. <clears throat> cool. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. Definitely a large camp to ex uh, large site to explore. They're getting Mina. I'm right here, you know. If I kill <clears throat> one of them with a heavy attack. Follow-up damage is reduced by 90%, I like that. Well, apparently only for one hit, but that's still okay. Oh, 
away with you. This here resting place, these things typically come when you can rest. Shelter, if you need a fire to warm you up. Oh, okay. We are good at the moment, thank you. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Uh, up here is a treasure. Okay, good to know. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? That's... Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. Creeping ivy up ahead. Okay, clearly something that we can do a little bit later. Retract my initial statement. The world definitely is explorable. Lots of secrets and hidden uh, things. Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? Ooh, we got another one at our hands, boys. Before we do that, though, is there any more loot? Nah. Unveil yourself. I'm right here, you know. Going for a meat suit. Eyes peeled. Kind of get to this one. Yeah. Okay, the blue one, uh, the purple one. That is. Oh no, specter types. Can I identify which type of specter possesses the corpse through the icon? And it inherits specter abilities. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what you're saying. They're getting me now. Enough! Ask for help if you need it.
think you could take on a ghost? That's not good. Enough! Putting up a fight then. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Lots of spectral dust, plus one to all attributes. We good, boys, we good. There seems to be another quote unquote point of interest. Nest completed, nest completed, and there is another point of interest. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. Oh, okay. Think at the right position. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of Think at the right position we might be able to jump here. Rid of it. There's a trap. And here's our reward. Can we jump from up here? Yes, we can. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. You mentioned that a couple of times. I did hear you. I'm not disagreeing that that might be the case, but come on. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. Right. Like the business. I knew it would come to a fight. Change targets. Tormented first. Devil take it. Oh, 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 oh.
This isn't over yet. Tough now, are you? Ah, they brought more friends. Watch out. Spectre possession. Can't let that happen, sorry. Call on me. Focus, Red. I knew it. Ooh, what a fight. Love it. Good, we're definitely starting to earn more money. Okay, maybe she learns a new uh, a new skill after this. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce! <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? Uh-oh. Oh, lovebirds. Killed a man. With his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. Oh, the stories always have a darker uh, side to them. Show yourself and join me now. Are the banishers Antea Duarte and Red McRaith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name, all mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine, stolen away, pried from my grasp. I want my work, my name, my wife. Your wife is not your property. <sighs> Ha! She was no one! A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. 
I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. You're the bastard. Murder is murder. Nellie and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. Can't get through there, unfortunate. Alright, we got a lot of loot out of it, so we shouldn't complain. And we got a new item. Bane Ring Rudimentary. More vanish points. Damage taken is reduced. Damage dealt by red is increased um, by up to 40% the lower the spirit gorge. Okay, we will figure that out once we're back at our camp. But for now, I think we've gotten really, really decent loot and a lot of other stuff. Something's here. Hidden. Was that the other secret? Yeah, the lost chest, okay. Destructible wall, uh, which we don't have the manifestation. Creeping ivy, which we do not have either. So I think we got almost everything. There's another wall here. Only thing that we didn't do is go up here. Might want to do that. So far my lesson has been, the more you explore, the better the reward. We got two full stat points just for doing... Uh, just for doing all of uh, the uh, fights there. And we also have gotten ourselves a very, very fair share of um, treasure. Haven't looked, but I think 200 plus. Uh, move to here, move around there. Okay, cool. Believe it or not, that is just the first of at least two Banisher activities in camp. Now, naturally, my other question is, where does all of this here lead to? The answer is into a bit of another fight. I think we've hit a nerve. I'm right here, you know.
call on me. Good one gone. Try this on. Have some other. Ah, shut it. Try this on for size. Very good. Did you bring your gardening tools? No? Moving on then. Ah, uh, okay, that was blocked. Okay. Cool. Well, I think now we've gotten everything. Very good. Back to camp. Is there, am I missing kind of the fast travel option? I know I've seen it, but I think that only works when you're at the camp. You actually need to walk back. Fair enough. By the way, this here is where the treasure map told us to look. Pretty much exactly here, right? No, up here. It's either here or up there. I think it was up here. The treasure has to be near. Scorch accretion. Okay, that is what we need uh, in order to upgrade our stuff. That is what we need in order to upgrade our stuff. Fantastic. I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. You again. Piss off, he... Hush! Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back! Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir. But you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. 
Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. But it certainly was convenient. I, For once, the cards fell in my favour. Arthur Carty was dead and gone, and Fortune Heaton became a better man, if I say so myself. I mean, I did take part in the man's murder. But I tell you then that he deserved it, and I tell you the same now. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Good question. We can blame either of uh, these fools. She killed him. Um, he sort of was in on it, but he didn't strike her. He's just kind of a coward. So we're going to blame her for that. Nelly Heaton. You murdered your husband to find freedom, but instead unleashed his vengeful ghost upon you and the man who stole his name. Where is the justice in this? I'm not here to bring justice. I'm here to end a haunting. What claim have you on me? You're no better than Fortune Heaton. A pox on you. A pox on men and their cowardice. Yes. A pox on us all. Beneath the tyranny of bad men, I lived. By it, I now die. She's still murdered. No, 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 no! My friend! My dear friend! Away with you! Get out of my sight! Murderer! Out! Well... It's not a very nice ending, I give him that, but many of these cases just don't have a nice ending. All they do have is a different taste of bittersweet regret. And she sure has had her chances. Good, time for us uh, to rest, level up and end this episode because next time we're going to 
uh, follow a different haunting. For now, let's sit at the camp. I just realized that she also was the merchant. Well, there goes uh, our option for better loot. There goes our option for better loot. That is unfortunate. Saiken, you should have thought about that before killing her. But it is what it is. Good. Let's uh, start with a couple of uh, things, shall we? So we don't have translucent fiber. That would be great. We do have a Bane Ring, which is an easy upgrade with plenty of materials that we do have. Um, it requires more to upgrade it uh, further. We theoretically got a wrist gem uh, that we can upgrade with an elite gem that we got of, uh, out of one of those spectral duels. So I think we're just going to do that. Punch damage goes up and plenty of upgrades for her. So I like that. Don't have the bone fragments to do more. And we now need to make a decision because we only have one Scorch Accretion and it's either this here for a bit of melee, update, uh, um, melee upgrade, but also more vitality. Or go with this. Now, I think we're going with a weapon. I think we're going with a weapon. That seemed all right so far. In terms of evolution, uh, we could Uh, create AOE attacks with our charged attack. I, I like that a lot. And with her spirit. So for now, I, I definitely like the damage reduction once you kill someone. Defeating an enemy with a heavy attack reduces next damage taken by 90% is fantastic. The whole blocking thing isn't bad either, but I like heavy attacks. They deal a lot of damage. And now we can either each enemy hit by a punch, increase the damage of punch cumulatively, or using leap while the Banish Gorge is full, increases the damage. Uh, that's not bad, by five, 500%, but consumes all Banish points. Oh, I see. Hmm. Let's go with this. And we got here Banish points gained, increased, but decoctions reduced, I don't like that. Damage dealt by a perfect switch, increased by 20%. Nah, not necessary. I found my personal playstyle that uh, works for me so far, and I think we're doing all right. So, lots of upgrades, lots of laughter, interesting episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoy Banisher's The Ghost of Eden, leave a comment and a like down below. And let me know, would you have... Um, done the same. Would you have blamed uh, the wife or would you have essentially done something different? Let me know in the comments down below. See you in the next episode and goodbye.